And I got his ass. It is a. Uh, Coronavirus uh, day uh, 408. Uh, it is a. Uh, and it's a uh, lockdown 2 day uh, 22. Today we uh, still have a uh, coronavirus cases uh, and uh, four uh, thousands uh, at uh, four thousand nine hundred ninety four and Toronto and Peel region of course is, are still in the really high cases with uh, Toronto at uh, one thousand one hundred ninety one really high cases and. Peel region at 1014 with uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Lawrence uh, Lowe saying uh, stuff uh, again, still not getting worse in the Peel region. Uh, so 406. Uh, from the uh, York region, 226 from Niagara region, and 199 from Durham region. So, Niagara region uh, is uh, on the list again. So, the Niagara region has been uh, having a uh, high cases. Uh, so every now and then. So. And Durham region. Region has been on this list for quite a while, and also last year as well. So, 24 deaths have been reported, uh, and uh, uh, this is something I want to talk about. Uh, that we talked about yesterday, and mm, so, anyways, uh, so variant cases, uh, okay. So there's a UK variant uh, is now at 49,860, uh, which is a plus two, 2,955, like, it, this is almost a plus 3,000, dangerous, and 150 uh, South African variants, plus 16, 267, Brazilian variants, uh, which is a plus 43, and this is the new one. This is one of what I wanted to talk about. The Indian vari variant, Gumbo vari vari uh, variant, uh, which uh, also can uh, also help, uh, which, uh, which basically uh, reduces the effect of the vaccine, but it has been proven by uh, Israel uh, by uh, that in uh, that the vaccines are specific, specifically the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine and yeah though so has so it is uh, proven that vaccines are effective against this with the uh, Pfizer BioNTech and Moderna being the uh, Moderna vaccines being the uh, the most effective, uh, and uh, I there's no word in uh, if uh, Johnson and Johnson uh, vaccines, uh, single shot vaccines are available in Canada yet because of the blood clotting uh, issue. So we have 36 India vax variants, double variant, and. Uh, so we already had uh, India variant uh, cases uh, 39 in uh, British Columbia and one in Quebec 
now we have 36 and uh so the man who uh, the quebec uh, person uh who man uh, who end up uh, having this indian variant uh, he has been treated and yes uh vaccinated and yes So this means uh, we have our fifth threat to deal with. And it's the India double variant. So this uh, variant uh, could be uh, more uh, could be contagious and catch up to the UK variant number. So We got to be careful. So there's a okay to about talking about the Ast uh, AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, okay, so uh, there's a second rare. There's been a, apparently a second rare blood blood clot linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, uh, this is uh, in uh, Hamilton on. So Hamilton Public Health uh, Services uh, confirmed the second. An instance of a man in the 60s with them who, who developed a blood clot after receiving his first dose of the AstraZeneca vac vaccine. So, so the patient uh, is, has received treatment and, uh, and continues to receive uh, care in the hosp hospital. Uh. So, uh, so it is a uh, rare, apparently rare to have uh, the reactions like this. Uh. So all of that coronavirus vaccines are available in the pro in the province province uh, Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, Moderna vaccine, AstraZeneca vaccine, and and the Johnson and Johnson has been a Johnson single shot vaccine is uh, has been approved but not available yet. Uh, they're rechecking. Health Canada is double checking. Uh, and uh, these vaccines are like, uh, they prevent uh, serious illness, hospitalization, and death. So this uh, the confirmation came on the same day. Uh, the Ontario government uh, revealed a man in the uh, sixty that developed a clot after receiving his first dose. Uh, after he, and uh, he developed a vaccine induced uh, immune uh, thrombotic uh, thrombocytopenia. Uh, V I T T. So uh, this, though they are saying uh, this man is a. Uh, it is not clear if he was that uh, this man was uh, inoculated, but officials have reported that he is uh, treated and and he is uh, currently uh, recovering at home. So. So this per So 
So, uh, uh, man, and, uh, in this, also in this, the 60s, I was, uh, you got, uh, you got, uh, He ended up uh, getting a vaccine, had to be vaccinated because he ended up uh, having to go to the Hamilton Hospital and and the family member, uh, they have mentioned that he has had a stroke and he still has the blood clots and on his brain. The blood clots are in his brain and, and he is on oxygen, he is, uh, he is uh, using a ventilator. And um, he was on the ventilator, but he's not right now, so. And then and, and, and NACI, uh, the National Advisory Committee on the Immunization, uh, <coughs> is now approving an AstraZeneca vaccine. Uh, huh? To be offered uh, to Canadians uh, 30 years and older. So, uh, check up on that. So currently the the vac vaccine the recommendations are were uh, forty if you were forty plus forty years or older pregnant or uh, you had a special uh, diagnosis uh, like me you could get vaccinated uh, possibly. Uh, But with by the Professor BioNTech vaccine, uh, the, the the AstraZeneca vaccine is the sort of weakest, uh, and the Professor BioNTech vaccine and Moderna vaccine uh, is uh, has a longer lasting effect and is more uh, and actually like the Johnson Johnson single shot vaccine can. Uh, So data from uh, sent from uh, European uh, countries that said that the, they were uh, con considering and uh, making uh, new recommendations from uh, 55 and up to uh, to 30 years uh, old and up. But uh, when uh, t you take the AstraZeneca vaccine, uh, and there's a super tiny rare, rare chance that you could get VITT, you know?
But it's, uh, it has been proven too that uh, that all vaccines uh, are effective against. Uh, although the AstraZeneca vaccine is uh, not the strongest, uh, you know. But in Ontario and Alberta, the limit is uh, and all and also uh, Ontario, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, and uh, you must be uh, forty years and older to get vaccinated, or if you're pregnant or have a special diagnosis, and. Uh, And also, if British Columbia and Manitoba had also dropped 40. In Quebec, it's uh, 45. In Saskatchewan, 40. So if you want to get vaccinated, uh, go to Ontario.ca slash book vaccine. If you want to do a call via the toll-free number, call 1-888-999-6488. So, reminder, stay at home rough rules are in effect. We're shopping, work, school, pick up, pick up medication, uh, access health care, exercising, leash, please leash your dogs at all times. Outdoor uh, gatherings are limited to individual households only. And, uh, well, I, I believe that's cancelled. After the people were like, breaking the rules. Essential travel between Manitoba and Quebec. Golf courses are closed. Re- reduced capacity of retail stores. Uh, shuttering of non-essential construction. Uh, social distancing of play- playground and mask on at all times. And uh, weddings, religious gatherings and funerals are limited to 10 people. Maximum and uh, sick leave has been uh, enacted over. So, So, however, at there, if there are like large gatherings or something. Yeah, the police have uh, the enforcement officers have the entire hundred percent authority to break up any gatherings, and uh, fines will be uh, at seven hundred fifty individually, and uh, and organizers of these uh, gatherings will be charged ten thousand dollars. And don't forget, uh, for their like a. Uh, Special border rules, uh, you can check them out on previous videos. Uh. Now I will uh, bring the, bring it back up. Please try to not to have any large, too many gatherings of any kind. Uh, ICU patient numbers are like getting ridiculously high and uh, nurses are, f- critical care nurses are like freaking out. They're having burnouts, uh, 
or maybe they quit the job because they couldn't the there it was too much for them witnessing a patient they were take, taking care of uh, dying and uh, I'm not quite sure that you, you probably don't know how that uh, feels but yeah and patients are be, are uh, currently transferred from GTHA hospitals to hospitals uh, out to out west to London no, up north to northern, northern Ontario or uh, out east to Kingston and Ottawa and and uh, the lo lockdown ends uh, April 30th uh, so yeah just wait a few days okay and the lockdown rules uh, are over Hospitalizations. There's uh, currently 2,277 people hospitalized with the coronavirus, uh, minus 10. Another uh, a new record of uh, 833 ICU patients. Uh, yeah, I feel bad for the nurses uh, having to deal with all this. Plus 15. And 600 uh, of them using a ventilator. Plus seven. Oh, the ventilator uh, number has uh, now reached six hundred. Uh, oh, just terrible, terrible. And there is uh, no report of uh, long-term care home deaths or outbreaks. So please follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations, lockdown regulations, and stay-at-home rules. Uh, don't have any gatherings of any kind. Uh, please follow uh, Ontario and Quebec border rules if you're crossing the... Uh, Crossing for essential reasons, uh, your rights uh, aren't more important than the rest of us trying to lower coronavirus cases and ICU patient numbers. And we have this new uh, India vari variant uh, that is uh, threatening us right now. So this is why uh, flights for. All passenger flights from uh, Pakistan and uh, and India are be being canceled for 30 days. Uh, this has been uh, enacted uh, since yesterday. So yeah, stay safe.